Most people would rather not see things go to waste, but Pam has taken it to a whole new level. So if it's got the rust on it, it's still good. That's just from the rain. Every week, she rescues 50,000 pounds of fruit and vegetables destined for the landfill and hands them out to Tucson residents. One, two, three, four, five. Pam runs Market on the Move. She talks Mexican farmers into donating their excess produce, then trucks it up to Tucson, where her volunteers set to work, sorting and boxing everything for distribution. The produce that we receive, it can be overgrown, it can be um, oversized, it can be scratched. Um, it could be in the months where there's an abundance. Too many watermelons, too many tomatoes. And instead of going to the landfill, let's feed people. Some of it is spoiled. That goes to Merv and other local backyard farmers. If it can't be used for livestock, then Pam makes sure it gets composted. Most of it, anyway. I think I want to grow that. <laughs> you can't move 50 tons of produce without a lot of help. I have the best volunteers in the whole world, I tell you. I can't live without these guys. They make my world rock. They are hardworking. They are crazy. You have to be crazy to work with me. And they make my life so enjoyable. Some of them I think, you know, you're not going to come back the next week, right? Nah, they're back the next week. They're having a great time. What makes these volunteers work this hard, hour after hour? They all believe passionately in feeding people, but it's more than that. They're like a great big family, from the newest volunteer to the warehouse cat. Pam rescued him, then found out he was she, and she was pregnant. So they call her Murphy, for Murphy's Law. Most of Pam's volunteers will tell you that this place has changed their lives. Some of them come in sad and they get the laughter. Some of them, you know, they're sitting at home doing nothing. So it's just purpose and the purpose can be fun. Others didn't have much choice. With some of the volunteers, they come in at a higher risk because of what they've um, probably had happen to them or what they've experienced in life. Now nah, you just accept them. I have failed at many, many things in my life. I have learned to rebuild it. I have had people give me a chance to rebuild. And that's how I try and treat my, my volunteers that are coming in because they're family now. You let them run with it, and where they fail, you're there to pick them up or help, you know, give them a shoulder to cry on. College, whatever you want to do, military, I don't care. We'll support you in what we can do, okay? What's my baby doing, huh? But Pam rescues a great deal more than pregnant cats and overripe tomatoes. Her warehouse is bulging at the seams. Everything from fizzy drinks to Christmas wrapping paper. Pam sends it out to food banks, nonprofits, and the public. There's even a corner where you can come in and fill a bag for $5. She also gets overstock from companies like Amazon. Okay, let's see. So we're going to check and see what's in this mystery box. So these are filters. Graduation advice cards. Knee pads. She also gets a lot of donated, secondhand computers. Chuck comes in every day to work on them. He's been with Pam for 20 years. The laptops go to kids as part of Tucson's free lunch program. Whatever is beyond repair gets recycled. Running a place like this isn't cheap 
and it's a constant struggle to make ends meet. But instead of cutting back, Pam is opening a discount store next door. If it's successful, it will pay for everything else. It's market day. Pam's team has been setting up since 4 a.m. By 5.30, the cars are already lining up. Here's how it works. You pay $10 per lot of produce. You can get as many lots as you want. Today, it's a crate of mangoes, a bag of potatoes, 10 tomatoes, three bunches of bananas, eight yellow squash, a crate of cucumbers, 12 years of corn, watermelon, and roasting skewers. Once you've paid, you pull around and pop your trunk, and the volunteers load you up. But why not hand out smaller amounts? Won't most of this just go to waste? We deliberately give a lot of food to one person. <laughs> Each box is at least 60 pounds. And we're trying to encourage them to not only fill their refrigerator, but the refrigerator of others. Scoochie, scoochie! Sharing, it turns out, is a great way to build community. How are you doing? Usually when people come through, they're picking up a box for their neighbors or their family or somebody they know that's in need. Thank you so much. The line of waiting cars stretches around the block. By the time they finally run out of produce, they're utterly done in. Pam hurries home. Tucson is in the middle of a heat wave. And Pam is worried about Dora. But you, young lady, you are a hoot. <laughs> you are a hoot. OK. Her Angora. No kicking. Rabbit. You're going to sit right there. I'm trying to scruff you like your mother. She bought electric shears so she could clip back Dora's long hair. But no matter how carefully she moves. OK, girl. Dora doesn't like the noise. Hello. <laughs> okay. So she digs up a pair of scissors and sets to work. Dora belonged to a local veteran who couldn't keep her anymore. But she's not Pam's only rescue. She has seven turtles who come when called. Most showed up on her doorstep with broken shells and a couple cats. Pam will give Dora's clippings to a friend who spins. There you go. How's that, huh? You're free. And finally, the chance to relax. It's July 4th, and Pam's going to the park to celebrate with friends. They do this every year. Most of them have known each other since they were kids. They always play croquet, but this time there's a twist. Pam has asked them all to bring a pair of pantyhose. They have no idea what she wants them for, but it's Pam, so of course they all say yes. You put the croquet ball down one leg of the hose, and use it as a mallet. You're not supposed to use your hands. We hit it out. It's harder than it looks. Look, it's easy. Okay. Throws it in yeah. <laughs> and more dangerous. Yay! <laughs> hey, sweetheart. Hey. Okay. Mick is Pam's fiance. And then, do I use two hands? <laughs> he loves to laugh and doesn't care if he looks silly. <laughs> Clearly, he and Pam belong together. Once they're done, Pam shares her newest concoction, homemade banana rum. Salute, baby. She brewed it from a batch of overripe bananas, 
that were in danger of going to the compost. <laughs> Gotta be a banana. <laughs> Tomorrow she'll be back to work, but Pam's okay with that. When I look in the mirror in the morning, I'm happy. When I look in the mirror at night, brushing my teeth, I'm happy. Tacky. I need tacky. I need tacky. Where's the girl? I need tacky. And the gal with yeah, the hair. Yes, she got her for sale. Rescue bitches and the big heart. Yes, she got her for sale. Got cukes for nickels, on the tails for a dime. They're coming in from Nogan and I just ain't blind. Rescue bitches and the red heart.